Now a viewport is a very specific object, typically a rectangle, but it can be any shape basically as long as it's a closed polygon. And that is going to exist in our layout space and it is basically a window into the model or design space. You can think of it as a picture frame. That rectangle or viewport is going to allow us to see what's inside the model space. So in model space, that's where you're going to be doing all of your drawing and design work. And in layout space or paper space, that's where we're going to be creating our sheets and our drawings. You can see here in AutoCAD, we are in the layout or paper space portion of the program. And that would be the tabs down here that control that layout. So first up, the difference between a layout and a model space is going to come in handy. Uh, so like I said, a viewport is basically a picture frame or window looking into your model space. Now you can create multiple viewports in a layout if you want to show different scales and views of your project. And I'm going to show you how to add those right now. Now from here, you can create new viewports. Uh, as simply as clicking this rectangular button here, that's going to create a rectangular viewpoint. So back to clicking on rectangular, it's gonna allow us to specify the corner. So we're just gonna create another viewport over here and we'll just end it somewhere around there. So you can see it's shown the entire model space. So double clicking inside our viewport allows us to move it around by holding in the right or the center mouse click button or the mouse wheel. You can click that into pan or you can type pan into the command line to move your drawing around. Once we've centered it in kind of the position we'd like, you can simply double click outside of the viewport and double click inside to activate it, outside to deactivate it. So now you can see we've got another viewport set and it's showing the same objects just at a different scale and extent than the other viewport. This comes in handy for drawings where you'd like to show close-ups and zoom-ins as well as an overall picture of your design.